Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to our Dith Martians have landed playthrough in EU4 with me, your host, Lucky Marine. Now, it's been a day since I last played, but I see we, uh, we're riding a pig. Riding the pig. I like this. I also seem to remember we made a bit of a mistake at the end of the last episode, and that was with getting an alliance with Spain, because... Spain doesn't have any manpower left. We could quite easily have nibbled a bit of Spain away. I mean, fair enough, I don't want to be into whether the Netherlands will spawn, but still. Hmm. Oh well. Oh well. Right. Institutions, we could embrace that, but are we near to taking tech? We are quite close. So wait until the stack of papers drops and we will grab that institution. We are fabricating on Great Britain as per usual and we're also fabricating on Frankfurt. This little guy. Why are we fabricating upon you? Because you're allied with Brunswick. Brunswick, Frankfurt and Bohemia who's an OPM. So that looks like it was going to be our next conflict. Let's go on like that, shall we? Alliance breaking with... Alright. No one. Okay. Merchants has been... Oh, Sweden. Sweden. Oh, Sweden. Merchants slandered by Sweden. We'll get you. We'll get you. Oh, I don't want to be going back to five. No. We'll gain all the prestige we need in the next war. Let's go with an agent from Newfoundland. Newfie. Game time. There we go. The game just seems to want to throw prestige at you. It used to be a lot harder to get. There we go. Oh yeah, we're not even close to our cap. So we'll save the uh, points for now, I believe. Yeah, no, these might come down in price. Although. Hmm. We took it. Yeah, we'll take this institution now. Extra merchant. Nice. And then we'll take these techs. And that'll put us ahead enough to give us a production efficiency. Which is a little bit more money in through the door. Now. Long term plan with these merchants. I was having a look a little bit earlier on. I should actually look whilst I'm filming so I can talk you through my ponderings, but we're in the Lubbock node, we we have all the power in the Lubbock node and once we take out I think it's Bremen, yep Bremen, our power will be absolute so I saw this line and so I thought, well, track this line because we've got we're pretty dominant in the North Sea node as well or we will be once everything comes in and track this line and see where we go from there so this goes to the Gulf of St. Lawrence alright, we'll track it down to Chesapeake Bay alright, what feeds into Chesapeake Bay? the Caribbean nice, so we have the option at some point, I think, of pushing trade from the Caribbean up to Chesapeake Peak Bay, up to the Gulf of St. Lawrence, and then across this top line into the North Sea, and then directly into Lubbock, which will stop any of it coming in to the Channel, to Bordeaux, to Sevilla. And if we have the range, we might end up even down at the Gold Coast, chucking stuff across to the uh, to the Caribbean to loop it all the way around and bring it in the top of Europe so that we take advantage of that money I mean that's long term goal long term I mean we haven't got the range to put the merchants there at the moment but with the amount of merchants that we do have we should be able to make that work and uh, yeah so We'll keep that in mind 
we will keep that in mind with the amount of coastal provinces we'll have from taking out Britain uh, maybe even Sweden at some point we should have the amount of ships needed to make something like that work for us how many, what's our limit on ships? Hmm. yeah I seem to remember we went over the limit in order to get the heavies out for naval superiority over Britain which was needed any unrest? Uh, I don't want to be increasing the autonomy really it's already down so it's is it down? these being perfectly at 25 lead me to believe that they are owned by the estates yep burgers but yep and Schleswig burgers again yep Lubeck node might as well give them to the burgers what's our maintenance maintenance is alright we got corruption we don't have corruption so we don't need to be rooting out whatever corruption that is rooting out and I think I think that's it on we go we're waiting for a claim on Frankfurt because we're going to use the Brunswick war to take Frankfurt because it's a free, it's a free city to inflation how are you for inflation I might end up buying this down actually hmm Well, we've got the guy in. How's our leader? I would like to keep him, so we'll get the inflation, but we'll buy it down. Uh, I don't like doing it, but we'll get under five. Hmm. Yeah, that's more manageable. I'll try to keep us under five, I think. Um, getting beyond that is just the accumulated costs of absolutely everything. They mount up. And we'll try to keep this guy around because of the construction cost. Minus 10%, it's a decent amount. Alright, I think that's our claim on Britain. Nope, need 25. Must already have a claim somewhere else. Now we have a free merchant from somewhere. How have we got a free merchant? I don't know. Well, let's put him to let's put him to use. Let's put him to work. Can we reach here? Nope. Oh yeah. A little bit of a diplotech and we will be able to reach there. So what about here? We can well transfer. And this will hopefully stop a little bit. Yeah, we've already got one here, here, here. Yep. We'll try and drag a little bit further up, a little bit more out of the Venetian end node. Stop it getting sucked into the black hole. So that should have a knock on effect. 43 ducats, that's a fairly rich note now actually. How are we getting on in terms of trade? How about our trade income? Trade efficiency is only 32%. That's not bad for 32% efficiency. Looks like we got caught in Britain. Send them again. Wendy's ready. Apologies if you can hear my cat. So, what's up? Hey, what's up? Nothing. Just wants to say hello to everyone. Discovering of agents. Claims have been fabricated. That's right, Sweden. We'll get around to you. We'll get. I know we'll get around to him. You're at war with who? 
do. Here. Wow, that's a big zero actually. Dylan? You'll go outside. Yeah, you know. <laughs> we'll fabricate claims on London because that's going to be really expensive to call. And if we can get 10% off, then we'll do that. Same with Essex, I believe. Yep. Essex is good development. If you can claim on high development provinces, then you get the biggest bang for your buck for the 10% off. Yep. So London, Essex, Oxfordshire. They're the three claims that we want before we do anything. And then we'll go in and give them the good news. As for Frankfurt, with its 24 development, this is going to be interesting. But we'll get the claim in. Okay, okay. You come back from Frankfurt. I can take an idea. Are we taking ideas? How are we taking ideas? We might have to take this idea actually. Unjustified demands will help loads. Especially if we're declaring on Brunswick but taking Frankfurt. Right. So, if we were to declare for you you bring in Frankfurt and Bohemia I reckon we could take both Frankfurt and Bohemia fairly quickly going for the stack wipe and then wait for Bohemia to uh, to realise that he's, he's on to loser really Actually no, 32 stack can come down here. And the 28 can stay in Hoya. Oh no, someone died. Quick. Put the bum in the seat. Hmm. Level 3. I'm sure we had a morale guy in there. That's unfortunate that we've lost him. We shouldn't need the morale guy for this though. Right, what well, we've got a free guy free diplomat for the war declaration. That's fine. Manufacturer has been built. Hardy seaman. Less said about that, the better. And here we go. Is he a dude? He's not a dude. We'll make him a dude. Not bad. Not bad. I have seen better. I've seen, well, we've all seen better. So, declare war for Hanover. And... Frankfurt, who are your allies? Solar, no, let's not co belligerize you. Who are your allies? No. It's always worth seeing if you can go co belligerent the allies that are going to come in. If their only ally is the person that you're going to kick a war off with, you might as well take that box. But as it is, no, nah, we'll just we'll just go on that. That's fairly simple. Simple, easy. Didn't even need our Nassau Super General. That five five man, that five five. Wow. Crazy. And now we just wait. And that's how you can do your own stuff now if you want. And allies want to come in, but they can't. I won't let them because I want all the monies for myself. When is our truce up with you? 1642. Alright. How about Bremen? How can we isolate Bremen? This might just have to be brute force. Declare straight on them. And, uh. Yeah, deal with consequence. 
Yeah, I think we'll do that after this, actually. Alright. Peace out of this war, declare on Bremen, incur the wrath of the Emperor and his dudes, but bring the Commonwealth in to help out. That's going to be some aggressive expansion. Although the HRE isn't really much of a HRE anymore. Uh, won't be alright. We'll gauge it better when we uh, when we've taken what we need to from here. Come on, these guys. All right, Frankfurt. How about this? Yeah, the unjustified demands minus fifty fifty percent is helping us out here. All your money. I'll do. Make you a call quickly. Or quick uh ish, kind of. And I'll get rid of your fort, because we have a phobia of fort. What what do you produce? Oh, that's not good, is it? Oh well. No one likes grain. No one likes grain. Tricked out of Britain. That's unfortunate. Oh. Trio. Who are you friends with? Just Liege. Well. That's unfortunate. And how about Wesberg? Who are you mates with? Harkon, Saxony, Ulm. Hmm. If we were to peace out, Brunswick. Oh, now we'd have to get access through. Yeah, go on. Wesberg will let me through, away. He will. Done. Let's go siege out Bohemia. Tiny, tiny Bohemia. Wherever you got access. Oh no, you're just running away. This is concerning. Losing stability. Don't like it. Let's make sure that they don't get away to reinforce. And off we go. That should be that war over and done with. Quick time. Diplo rep plus one. Like it. Now. One's like. Still won't. Hmm. We'll peace Bohemia out separately then. Take. Hmm. I don't know. How about taking Bohemia as a vassal? They give us an excuse to go to war with Hungary, and I'm sure the Commonwealth will be more than happy to come to war against Hungary with us. Yeah, I think we'll do that. All right, Bohemia. Special things for you. Special, special things. My vassal. You accept that? Good. All your money. Uh, yeah, just. No, uh, I don't know. Revoke cause? Absolutely not, because we need to feed them back to you. Fine. That's good. We'll lock somebody on Bohemia for the time being. Is that a gold province? It is? Wow. The inflation that they're getting, just having a gold province and nothing else must be absolutely astronomical. Alright, we'll keep this guy. 
He's quite young. He's got a decent first uh, attribute. Sweden. Why not? What's happened? What's changed? Sometimes if somebody stops rivaling you out of the blue, it can be an indication of them slipping under a personal union because Austria in a personal union, no possible rivals. Being integrated by Spain, wow. That's gonna be scary. Hmm. We could go, we now have. Reconquest. We now have Reconquest. So those are in the bag for feeding Bohemia. We've got Reconquest in the bag for feeding Norway. Quite a lot. Uh, we'll just have to wait for some of these to drop off, I think. Although, we'll come in, we'll come in. Yeah. Me and Commonwealth versus Spain, France and Hungary. We'll have to find a way of splitting this up somehow. Try to isolate one and then get them to break their alliances with each other. Okay. We'll end your embargo then. Oh, who? oh, I can't set whilst I'm at war. We'll pull the piece out of this. Now. We'll just eat the... Uh, the Imperial. Oh no, my dude's died. The Master of Mint. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, level 3 again. How many level 3s across the board? We can afford it. We need to do it. Yeah, we'll just we'll piece out of this and just eat the uh, the imperial authority. Imperial authority? What is it? What's it called? What does he do when he asks for it back? But yeah, you know what I mean. And we'll say no and laugh in his face. Brunswick, Saxony, Bremen, Lorraine, alright we'll give you that a year or two, We don't. Uh, I don't want to be locked into a coalition because once a coalition forms it melts away very very slowly and uh, I, I don't want that, who are you always, how have you got access through there? Defender against Russia in the Russian Crusade against a Great Horde. Why didn't you call me in, bro? Interesting. Russia's got a lot of claims. Hmm. I don't know who would win that, actually. Commonwealth has a lot of people. Uh, we'll just check the armies real quick. So Russia has pure manpower. And the bigger army. But the Commonwealth, uber cavalry, lots of artillery. At this stage of the game, oh, I don't know. What did they go with? What ideas did they go with? Offensive, defensive, offensive, quantity, hmm, offensive and quantity, 
Infantry combat ability plus 10%. Cavalry combat ability of plus 33%. Discipline of plus 5%. Morale of armies plus 15%. Yeah, they're greed at four. Especially horsey war. National manpower, yep. Infantry costs come down. And the force limit goes up. Recovery speed goes up. National manpower modified plus fifty percent. So Russia is just bodies, lots and lots of bodies, not well trained, uh, n not really well morale, not lots of morale even, just lots and lots of bodies. Just chuck all the bodies in there and uh, hope something happens. Whereas Commonwealth is into its lot of cavalry combat ability and uber morale morale of armies plus 15 infantry combat ability plus 10 give it a little bit of discipline thrown in there yeah I think Commonwealth might win this one. Even though Russia's got more people, I reckon the Commonwealth could well win this. As long as the Commonwealth don't get lost in Russia, as long as they don't go wandering off into the middle of nowhere and accruing loads of attrition, I reckon they've got that. How about Great Horde? What have you got? It'll be horses again, won't it? Cav combat ability plus 20, land leader shock plus 1. National manpower modifier plus twenty five percent, and you've gone offensive. Eighteen, so comparable military tech, you've all got. How about Great Horde, I can't imagine there being much that the Great Horde have got, but it's still going to add to the Commonwealth. That's an extra twenty thousand manpower. And that's the thing if you if you're fighting a few countries you've got to defeat this number there's no point looking at this because they'll take the losses and this will come back up to strength very quickly it's this number that you've got to get rid of and with something like russia if i was a commonwealth if i was a commonwealth trying to defeat this amount of numbers i'd almost invite them in Invite them in and try and eliminate stacks by dogpiling on them. Maybe chuck a few forts along here. If I knew, if I knew, if Russia was my rival and I was Commonwealth and I knew that I was going to have to keep them out, it would be a few forts along here. Um, maybe in, yeah, something like woods. So that when the fort was about to fall and you had to go in and relieve it as it were you would get they would get the penalty and keep doing that hit fall back hit fall back hit fall back until they'd run out of manpower and then push into russia you've got to be efficient with your manpower if you you find someone like russia I mean, and the Commonwealth do have the combat modifiers, the uh, the Great Cavalry, that's probably why they've got so much of it. The Cav Combat Ability, uh, the Discipline, the Extra Morale, to make that tactic work. Uh, whereas Russia, they're only, re they're only relying on massive weight of numbers. So, anyway, that was Milo, and uh, this is the first recording of the day so hopefully I sound a little bit better than I did in the last video so anyway I've been looking Marine as always you have been amazing join me in the next episode when we allow a couple of years to tick by just so that we can take Brunswick without all of this entering a coalition we may end up just allowing this call to come in and then piecing out for nothing that might be a thing so that we can keep some space in our bellies 
ready for a Bremen war. Yeah, I think that's going to have to be a thing. Because the amount of development here. Yeah. Although the unjustified demands did help us a lot in Frankfurt. That minus 50 to uh, unjustified demands helped a hell of a lot. And you're in the process of being turned into Protestant, I believe. Oh no. Protestant zealot. Yeah. Hmm. Protestant zealots in a Protestant country. Don't get it. Don't get it. Anyway. I hope to see you in the next episode. I will hopefully see you then. We'll also get to war with, uh, with Britain. In, in years for you, actually. Okay. Take care.